Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I decided to make a video to share my journey on the delivery application platform. It'll just be like, kind of like how much I make, tips and tricks, how it's like doing these things out in the heat right now in July of 2023. And so, some background um, I have a license in like tax profession and these are more side side hustle as they say or extra cash so I've seen all sorts of people and ages come out and do this and it's because everyone who basically has a car and like um, car insurance has an opportunity to make extra cash and now everything is up to your mental um, like how you handle this mentally like because as they say it's a uh, repetitive work and especially when it's so hot some people like you know some it's not always like you're gonna get orders so uh, so far how it's like for me um, beginning uh, this job um, so I started this Memorial Day but I've, I had been doing this like on and off but like a big gap like I did this in 2019 just for two months and I think I had like a contract violation because I didn't know that you know there were like lying customers that can like make you upset so I thought that was going to get me deactivated so I just stopped doing that in 2020 I came back because of like COVID pandemic um, my the the work where what I was doing like the store had to close like see all these things um how you handle um your financial things things when you were um you know younger like your decisions a lot of people like there were there's some channels saying they're doing this to uh get rid of their debt and some people actually based depending where they live actually really make good money as much as like some people are actually proud doing this work because they said their job was toxic they rather be having their own time you know come whenever they want or not do it whenever they don't want to um, as you can see I kind of have like attention or focus or I, I'm not sure if I have ADHD I don't know where I left off but so yes pretty much i've seen uh all sorts of people out here doing it. i've seen young people i've seen old people and um yeah i, I did it in 2020 and then um because i was um you know yeah the, the store i was working for they had to close and then i came to do this and i did it for a couple months again and i stopped and then um yeah because it, it depends on if you want to like you, know, you have to use your car your gas your mileage like that's the main thing like if people have a new car they don't want to put mileage on it you got like you know like um my car is actually seven years i'm actually using this suv like i don't know exactly how much I, it it takes gas off of doing this per day like i tried to come out earlier but then i just like always come out like after lunch and i think that's when it actually slows down in my area like yeah it really depends on like like i think i'm going back to what i just mentioned earlier like some it depends on where you are some people i see they make as much as or more as if they were going to work where they say they had like had a toxic job environment and then and so they rather be doing this some people are proud some channels a lot of channels say they quit doing it because um, it's so stressful there's bad customers like lying and they feel like this job people don't look up to like they can't get like good connections being a like, delivery person so it all depends on like what your mindset is on this you know sometimes like money is money uh, you know say if you have like nothing at all right now in your bank it's, it's better than zero like say you still have to pay gas but like based on my experience like it's really better than zero like on in covid i like i mentioned like i came to do it then i started a youtube channel which youtube i've been doing on and off as well like since i was a teenager some channels like you know back then how you didn't have to get 1k subs i was in the partnership um, and then after that like i couldn't get 4k uh, of watch time 
and thousand subs so some channel I just like leave like d like you know dead like and I didn't go back but then I started a new channel in 2019 it got monetized in 2020 when people were at home watching stuff um, I didn't um, it wasn't an, an, an English speaking one but I do have English subs on that one and then that one did pretty well but then you know like YouTube like these contract works like there are times where they're slow it's like it's not like you can like really depend on it but like you know it's like it's something and then also um, a lot of things come into play actually I just did okay I started okay today is a Friday so that's why let's see how much I make today I started at like actually I started around like two ish I ate already from home and then I don't know I came out and then we're like okay let's get some nuggets and I already delivered something um, on uber I'm doing just uber and DoorDash I don't have Grubhub and then um, so I did a delivery already it will tell you 10 this is like it, on uber specifically it will say 10 include this is like approximately how much you will get most of the time I do get what they say they will um, give me um, I know that's confusing because the tips come in later so it told me okay this is ten dollars for a 3.8 um, delivery I picked up chick-fil-a and, and dropped it off three of like the whole trip it, it will say this will take you 3.8 miles for about ten dollars and I took that one but then it will say okay you made 560 if people come on the platform they'll be like okay what is this will the tips actually come in about an hour later the tips will come in and then I have always like been paid what it promised to pay me and then um and um the only one time was this like shop and pay delivery it says i was gonna get 13 dollars for about like five or six items and then on that walgreens they had like nothing that this person wanted so i substituted almost everything and the worst thing that happened was like a coke bottle was still no, a coke like a diet coke or something like a glitter of it was still sitting on my car seat i mean the back of my car and i realized it after i went to do like a, like three other deliveries so i think i tried to chat with support like hey i forgot it but i went back to that walgreens and actually returned that you know and then so I didn't get that $13, I guess like the customer didn't tip me and you know, so I, I mean that one was like, okay, it's reasonable why I didn't get like what I was promised to get paid. So right now, like I said, I started around two-ish, it's like about an hour later and then I have not like on DoorDash, like it will let you go if it starts getting busier, but it's not letting me on the platform and the area I want. It doesn't have anything available for me to do. Um, any like deliveries so on DoorDash the main difference is um, you know if it says like this is a guaranteed pay like nine dollars for two miles you will get that it, w it won't be like uber where it say like okay the tips will come later so I think that's one of the main reasons why people like like DoorDash better and another thing is um, another thing like you have to be on a schedule so if like you can't just come like whenever you want um, so this is why i think uber like the sign up process is really easy you can like get like onto delivery like the next day or something but there's gonna be a lot of drivers out here maybe like 10 other people sitting on the same area as you and that is probably why you won't be getting like orders that much you could be like i think when i was doing like um in may like end of may and like June at first it was like really good so this is actually like a week uh, the end of the week for me already I've been doing this like every day except Saturdays so that's when I do some shores and like hang out with friends and stuff um, and then um, but Saturday is a really good day but once I tried and then I, I only made $40 for like a six hours of work like 40 something so i'm like okay this is not worth it for saturday so might as well choose one of the slow days to like do some shores or something um if this area for me is not getting like busier i might change the area and it's like 79 degrees right now but it is pretty hot so um okay let me show you like my tan lines <laughs> like this is where i wear my watch and see that's like the rest of my skin so i'm like you know at first when i started this job i got back to this job 
I'm like, oh, I'm like, like, I feel so like, oh my god, like, seriously, like, I thought people would like look like down on me, like, why, like, you know, like, oh my god. But when you see like the pay, sometimes you get like good orders. You're you're gonna be like, okay, like, the money is there. Like, who cares what people think about you? And actually, I've seen people like dress like office workers, like young kids, like. Everybody is just like you know, like nobody knows like who you're like picking up for, and even if they do, like, like nobody cares. Like you know, it's like, it's everything is like your mindset. To be honest, okay, um, I am gonna see. Well, so there's, by the end of today, I'll update you how much I make. I, it's been really slow, seriously. And uh, some people like say if I made like 100k a month annually on some like say some people ha- already has a job and they're doing this weekends or a little bit like you know three four hours on the free time like if i had 100k a year like would i be doing this that is the question like would like you know people who are well off like choose to do this like um you know i like maybe if i had like some time to spare but i i think like people would rather just chill at home you know because they've like already worked so hard for like that 100k annually but it depends on how they like spend their money say like you know say they got 100k but they got like other um financial stuff and they could use a little extra cash i say like people will hop on this like no doubt so just now i did one delivery five dollars for about 3.1 miles it's not amazing i forgot to screenshot it but i decided to take it because i was like um talking to you guys for like a long time like 10 ish minutes with like no orders and it was pretty hot and before I took that order, actually, I got a, a offer for $8 for 7.9 miles. So that's like $8 for 8 miles. It's like equal to the miles. So I thought maybe not. And then the $5 one came like right in. So I just took that one. Um, right now, I usually don't do like deliveries at the mall because sometimes there's restaurants where I don't know where it is at all. And you got to walk up. The other day, I think I had to walk up to somebody who works at the mall on the second level but good thing it was like when I got right up the stair his store was like right there and he was waiting by the escalator so that wasn't too bad there's a BJ's restaurant here and then two days ago I think um yeah about two days ago I got an order for like $17 for just four miles for a delivery from BJ's it was a lot of things but the house was easy to find and it was just like you know like a eight minutes drop off for $17 so I'm like, okay, why not? Like, you know, so I did that. And then see for this one, when it says my, um, the $5 one I just did right now, um, it tells me that it's $5 and three cents for 3.1 miles. So without having to wait for the rest of the remaining of the tips. So I don't know if that one means the customer did not tip or not. Oh, wow. I got a 15, $15 for 8.9 miles. Should I do this? Okay, I think I might do it. I don't know if that's worth it, to be honest. But, okay, I think I'll just do it. Okay, I might as well do it. I thought I was going to get something at BJ's, but it's another restaurant, which is two minutes away from here. And then, um, I remember during COVID, I came to this restaurant. It took forever for me to get a, an order. So, let's see how this one goes. It's now, yeah, four. So, I think it's like two hours and after I drop this one off, so it'll be like two hours, 30 minutes, and I would have made like $30. And now it's telling me to go to Applebee's plus another $3. I don't want to seem desperate, but I might just do it. Yeah. I usually end my shift like um, 8 p.m. Some people c- come out when it's cooler, but I don't re- really like doing it at night because sometimes like you know you can't see the numbers of the house anywhere so um okay let's just go do this and then i'll come back okay so right where we left off i picked up lucille's barbecue and i picked up applebee's so lucille's was like 15.50 around that for um an 8.9 miles that's like including approximate tips but it should come in and then it'll be that amount where they t- tell you this is what it'll, you'll get. It'll show up. And then also I picked up Applebee's. It says like zero miles. I was like zero miles for $3 more or something. 
uh, cents, but then actually after I picked up Applebee's, it says um, about like 1.8 miles from where I picked up, but pretty much they're saying zero miles. I think it's because it's on the way to um, the next delivery as well. So that was about $19 of about um, when I last talked to you guys, it was 4 p.m. And then when I dropped both orders off, it was 48 minutes after that. So 48 minutes were like $19. And I've been out here almost three hours. I started around two-ish. It's almost five. So um, that's like almost, that's like three hours. And I think I made like $34 for three hours. Um, when I say, oh, I made $34 in three hours, I'm calculating in like times I'm here sitting and waiting for an order. But in the app, it'll say, this is your active hour. You made like this much. It'll look much higher than a lot of people are gonna calculate the time they're here sitting, waiting for an order because it counts as their time, you know, that they're coming out here to do delivery and it only makes sense to do so. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you're like, how much did I make? How much, when did I start? When did I, when did I end this shift? And that's like only going to make sense when you divide your time out here and how much you make. But, you know, based on the app is going to be like, oh, this is your active hours of two hours, but you made like 30 bucks or 40 bucks so that's like you know above minimum wage something it's gonna look much better like in that way but for today right now after I drop these orders off it tells me that my last trip I made 1238 but that's still still waiting for the tips and these are so useful you guys I um, got them from Amazon you can you know when it's sunny I'm, I'm thinking of getting my car tinted in the front because um it, it's not tinted in front i'm just gonna screenshot some things here because i haven't been doing that and i'm here in a new town right now i really like the area i was earlier it was like i think not a lot of people were there like at the near the mall and there was like a BJ's there but I never got an, an order at BJ's yet I just got like some other restaurant nearby so I think I will like be done by 8 p.m. let's see how much I make like Fridays used to be pretty good but you know a lot of people have said it's been slower of the summer I'm not sure why I think a lot of people like kids are also off school like college students like they have no classes so I think a lot of people are out here doing this and even for DoorDash like I try to have like a family member like try to sign up they're like oh they're full in this air area but they were still able to sign up for like Uber Eats so let's see when I get uh, the next order I'm here near like Wingstop and Jersey Mike's these are some of the typical restaurants that usually there would be orders but I'm not sure because like I came from another city 15 minutes away to deliver something here so I'm thinking like people here are ordering something for another town so I don't know if they're ordering things in their area so let's see when I'll get my next order okay everyone R right the last time we spoke um, when I said I delivered Lucille's and it was another city that's 15 minutes away from the city that I wanted to deliver so after that's done I drove seven minutes away where there was a wing stop and I just parked there talked to you for a bit uh, on camera with you just now that I decided to just go back to the city where I wanted to deliver so drove 15 minutes to deliver all those orders for $19 and then I sat there, uh, I drove seven minutes to like a wing stop nearby. And then I realized that wing stop was like, it was a dead city. That wing stop wasn't actually opened anymore or they're about to. Like I saw these gates and stuff, like, you know how they close the doors, like it's not open pretty much. So I think that was like a dead city. People order for you to go there, but all the shops or the restaurants there, I don't think it's a good area to wait for order so I drove back 15 minutes and I keep forgetting to snapshot uh, the order but I decided to take a $6.45 
um, and 45 okay I think I have like a seven dollar right here now I have a DoorDash ship seven dollars for 5.3 miles it's not amazing but I think I will because I only have like a six uh, o'clock to eight o'clock um, you know the time that I'll just be out here for just like about two hours so I think I'm going to do it yeah I forget to snapshot th that I got um i delivered pokey right now it was six dollars 45 for 5.1 miles it's not amazing but then i didn't want it to be like uh, you know by the time i know it'll be eight it's gonna be too dark for me i don't want to deliver anymore uh when it's too late so i just did that then i came back and i got a doordash um shift for two hours and a half but i probably won't be here till 8 30 um so what's different with doordash is if you arrive at the store it'll tell you to click the button like that you're here and then it'll tell you like oh here's like make sure there's drinks and stuff sometimes it says make sure there's drinks and I ask the store and there's they say there's no drinks but I closed uber temporarily because uh, sometimes when it's really slow I you I wait and stuff but then on third uh, if you're on break with DoorDash for 30 minutes you're like you lose your shift so I think um, after that pokey delivery I made $40 for being out here four hours and now here's seven dollars more for this delivery um so let's go do that yeah delivery delivery uh, Okay guys, so I'm back now after the last time we spoke and I took that $7 for 5.1 miles. I got this like chicken place and I delivered it and then on along the way I also got this $5 for 2.7 miles. I think I went to Chick-fil-A after. There was another like fried chicken place and I went to Chick-fil-A. So that was on the DoorDash shift and I'm still on it. It's like almost... Um, six hours it's 7 49 p.m right now i started around uh 2 10 p.m so at this point um i'm at 70 dollars for almost six hours of doing this today on a friday that comes out to about 11 dollars 60 cents per hour but i'm going to see if within this few minutes i'm going to get another order perhaps and bring that up um like i have mentioned it's very uncertain usually fridays and sundays are really busy but um it's gotten more saturated it's probably summer and everything okay i don't know why i have this so i didn't realize that was like kind of blocking the view for you guys but then things got a little messy after that so i, I did everything was on doordash i think i did four deliveries i did four deliveries after we spoke when i got that first order for seven dollars and 5.1 miles on doordash and then after that so that was two deliveries for twelve dollars and then i got another one for 3.7 miles total and it was for a pizza delivery for two uh different people but at the same store things got a little messy that it was like so many items it was like two large pizza some drinks and they put the ranch on on top of it and then i had a drink and two big pizza and two things on top of it and then i, I things got um quite messy is that the ranch fell off and, and then it splattered on the floor that i had to ask them for another one i could have like thought it through and put it on the you know how there's a drink holder and you there's like for four drinks but there were only two drinks so I could have put the ranch in that cup holder but then after I asked them for a new ranch that's when I put it on that like I, I thought I totally got it but then it slid off the ranch they were nice gave me another one and um, I told them sorry I dropped the ranch by the door and I tried to I wiped it but like it was um you know I didn't have time like you know how there were like i i guess they'll figure they'll like come clean it it's fine like you know you're on a time limit it's not like that crazy where they're like you have to be there be there but as long as you like you know reach there not too late and stuff you won't get like a contract violation 
um, I'm sure a lot of people who's watching this has probably been on the platform or interested in if you've never heard of like what um, contract violation pretty much is say you went to pick up an order late drop off an order late or customers claim you didn't drop off the order uh, when you actually did or in some cases there are like delivery people who actually didn't so um, but you can dispute those so um, yeah today as you can see I didn't really get like a lot of like the good ones like some Fridays it was really good but I was in a better paying area better tip area but that is a little bit further out and then sometimes even though like for instance DoorDash it'll tell you which area is busy and then even though I go there and I see a lot of people these people look like they come and pick up orders but then I wasn't getting any ping I wasn't getting any orders even though it says the area is busy so I try to stay within the area that I want to deliver that is not too far out for me but like today I got like pulled out to a different zone like on that first order um, when it's like five miles that is approximately over 10 minutes like 10 or 15 minutes of driving when it's like saying five miles so when you get three miles that's like eight to nine minutes so it looks like a few miles but it actually is a couple of minutes that you um, have to consider and then um, like you know five miles and like I mean five dollars for 2.9 or three or four miles like even though the pay is higher than the miles like so it, it wasn't very good like some of them I took but you know like um so I'm glad that pizza order came in it was for $17.50 for two different homes it's uh I thought that pretty much brought up my, the the um cash flowing in from doing this today but I have had better Fridays but this whole week has been quite slow and the weather has been hot and um but this is just like um I wanted to make this video to kind of like have you guys see and compare how it is for my market compared to yours and also I find it entertaining sometimes when I like watch other people do it I just but I other people I notice that I think they're in a better area where actually the one of the best area where it's like really busy uh, which is only 30 minutes from me but I don't really go there because the parking is hard to find and the homes are like kind of like crazy in a way where sometimes it says I've arrived but I have no idea where it is that one time I had to deliver something and I told the customer to come meet me at another place that we both know and they weren't mad about it so that was a good time where you know you couldn't I couldn't find the customer's home but they didn't get mad and at least we did do complete the delivery so yeah so after that I didn't really go to the area where I know it's busy and people tips pretty well but the parking situation and the homes are really like hard to find where some areas it's mostly like customers actually are actually in the house I love it when it's just like a house you know and you see the house you drop it there I hate apartment buildings I know every delivery person hate apartment buildings some aren't really bad but some are like oh my god room 39 on the second floor it's like all the way in the back um, these are some of the examples like for my experience doing this for this week I wish I concluded the whole week for you sometimes I guess I'll just let you know how much I made the whole week but this video is like for how much I made today um, just so for so you can see right now I actually have uber on as well as DoorDash and there is no delivery like sometimes it'll like guide you to where the busy area is but I didn't follow it I just came back to the area where I know there's a couple stores around here that I want to or I have delivered before hoping that something comes in if not then we'll just conclude that on a Friday I made like $70 today so see I made on the uber right now $40.96 for today um, yeah it'll tell you that's for the week so far but 
we haven't finished for the week yet because there's still a Sunday until payday is Monday, but then it will come onto your account like on a Tuesday. And also, um, I did for DoorDash, which is twenty nine fifty. So I don't know why it doesn't come out to. Maybe I did it because it'll say this dash, but then sometimes where you made an where you went online earlier. So let me conclude it after I'm certain that I don't have any other deliveries to find out the total. But I in my head I know it was already seventy dollars. Okay. Okay, so right when we spoke just now I got an offer from DoorDash for seven dollars twenty five cents and it says less than a mile and it says for me to go to PetSmart and then for um DoorDash I realized that the order is like there, just go pick it up. But for Uber, when they say to go to PetSmart, you have to either have your digital wallet and go find the item and pay for it. But for DoorDash, usually it's like it's ready to pick up. This one is different that it also tells me to go pick up a Wingstop. Okay, so that order, I had thought the item at PetSmart was already ready. Usually it is. I just go in, tell what the customer's name is, and then they would have um, the items in the back for me that I can pick up. But actually, I had to go in with my red card. So for shop and pay orders with um, DoorDash, you'll have this credit card where um, if it's like the price or items that they said you have to go find and, and pay for those orders, then get those orders and deliver them. Um, so that went okay. Fortunately, I found a store worker that was able to locate the item for me. Usually, I can never really find anything like the dog mix, the meal mix. I have to pick up a meal mix right now. And then I thought that the wing stop that it says in the one order I had to deliver to a different person I say I say if that was for two different people the 725 would not be worth it but it was a really quick delivery the house of the other um, the person that had to the home of the person that had to drop the meal mix and the wing stop was just two minutes from the store so they weren't lying that it was under a mile so today concludes that I made $77.71 um, doing delivery today on a Friday. Let me know if you think that is worth it and then um, please like and subscribe and I um, you know found the courage to just like do this channel. I have had done many types of channels like associated with different things and content but I thought like you know in a day where you're doing delivery I might as well share your day. Some people think um, you know they might look down on you or whatever but like I said if it's about you making extra cash and you can choose like you know where you want to drop off your orders like don't cherry pick too much but don't be too desperate like today I've declined like three dollars 96 cents for a less than a mile for subway but I um I decided not to do that because every order you take you are taking about 20 30 minutes for delivery and that is like losing opportunities for bigger pay but I didn't get a, a very good one today but I knew see it's getting dark and when it gets dark you cannot find homes at least I cannot find homes so I always usually end around 8 so I want to come out earlier but I never can I come out around 1 end it around 8 usually always so that is it I, I was I, I was glad that order was like for one person and under a mile so that one was a good one okay guys i think i'm gonna grab some subway i hope to do this again and then um let me know if you enjoyed it let me know if you thought it was worth it if you're doing this let me know like if you're in a good area how your area is how much you make on a friday i'll see you guys on the next video thank you so much for watching